So where does the iron come from to make banded iron formations? There's, there's broadly two ideas. One possibility is that the iron came from weathering of the continents. Um, when when uh, rivers, uh, and when rain hits continents and rivers uh, r wash material off the continents, you dissolve rock. And iron is one of the more abundant elements in rocks. And so if there's no oxygen around, that iron dissolves in the water and it could flow into the oceans and build up in the oceans. The other idea is that instead, perhaps, um, the iron didn't come from the continents, but came from what are called hydrothermal systems in the deep ocean. So we know today in the deep ocean, um, there are locations where there are very hot fluids or wa where water gets pulled down beneath the seafloor, gets heated up uh, in the environment that's, that's, that's beneath, uh, that's deep in the crust uh, on the seafloor. And that water gets superheated and comes shooting back up. Uh, through the seafloor. And that super hot water, when it interacts with rock, dissolves the rock and pulls iron out of it and injects iron into the oceans. So that happens today on the seafloor, we know that. But today, when that hot water that's full of iron hits the ocean, the ocean is full of O2, of dissolved oxygen, and that causes the iron that's in those hot waters to oxidize and turn into rust and precipitate out, and that iron can't go very far, it can't build up in the oceans. It gets dropped out right near those, those hydrothermal vents. But in a world without oxygen or with very little oxygen dissolved in the water, that hydrothermal iron could probably accumulate and build up in the deep ocean. And there are various indirect lines of evidence, different chemical tracers that people have measured that have um, led to a pretty strong consensus, I think, that that, that that second source was probably the major source of iron uh, into the oceans at that time.